So what we're making here is a six and three, it's about a six and three quarter inch piece. This is our starter row to make our second story lines all work out. We measured up a north gable wall which goes all the way from the bottom all the way to the top and uh, started kind of working out all of our layouts with our story pole and turns out at the second story porch we need a uh, not a full seven inch piece so we're making this which is we we notch out the foam so that our punch our siding punch can punch this slot and the way that I do this is I line up this uh, the piece that I rip off it is the actual clip or the bottom it's the edge that would normally hook so this is gonna we're basically shifting this down on the panel a little bit so that it'll hook where we want it to so we notch out the foam so that we can do our snap lock so the way that I do this is I mark where I want these punches to be so that they line up with a slot that's on this uh, like the lip that catches the hook part and so that's why we we walk down and we mark it and then we mark where the foam that we have to cut out and then that tells me where to punch and you can see when we're done we have a slot here and our punched slot will line up and what we'll wind up with is a piece of siding where Normally this would have been up here, we'll be able to shift it down. When we shift it down, it makes this face of this piece shorter. So it takes about an inch out of it. It goes from being about a seven inch piece to a six inch piece. Uh, and so that six inch piece lets us start. So this bottom will get our starter strip and hook into our starter strip. Our next piece of siding will clip into this piece and it will look, it'll have the right depth, the right profile, everything will be right on it. Uh, this this profile will be right because it's got the foam behind it. The foam is still behind it in the same thickness that it was. Uh, and then we put this on here. And it's able to hook. We leave, we rip it right at this edge so that we have this part to hook underneath. So it will pinch the bottom of the siding. And then we'll be able to pull it up right into this just like it was a 6-inch piece of siding instead of a 7-inch piece of siding. So we've got a few more of these to make. And that'll finish out our first row on the second story porch. We'll likely have to end up doing this for part of the garage as well. Uh, but it'll be the same process, just different measurements for the face of this piece that we want.